The Nathan, Nat and Sean podcast. Why are we here, guys? Why are we here? Because of the formal invitation of the most powerful well, you man say invitation, I say order. <laughs> <laughs> Roger Cook, our Premier, joins us right now, everybody. The local man. Hey, uh, look at him. Hey, Rog. love him here. Thank oh. you. <laughs> Roger, him. this place is absolutely fantastic. When we came in this morning, having the Wellard right next to the train station that we're at here, the shopping centre, everything's new, it's shiny, it looks amazing. This is a great subdivision. I've been here for over 10 years now, living in Wellard. It's such a great community, part of the Quinana community. Uh, we really love it. As you say, train station just here, shops just here, everyone walks, everyone bumps into each other in the street. Well, you walked here this morning, didn't you? Absolutely, yeah. Are I'm, you like, right. you've been here for 10 years, were you like the local nobleman who owned all the land and then sold it off? Is that the <laughs> oh, way it works? I, I wish. <laughs> that was actually a guy called John Wellard. I'm, I'm not oh. quite sure where he is, God rest his soul, but he's... Um, really? He would have done well. Yeah, that's right. So, John Wellard was the actual owner of the farm here and um and clearly they've known yeah. a lot of th- this was one farm Yes. Oh, look, yeah, oh, yeah. I assume I assume it was probably a number of farms, but it was. Um, but there's also a bit of bushland here that had to be had to make way for the new subdivision. But it, it's a great little community here, and as you can see, oh, they've all come to the pub for breakfast. Yeah, yeah I know. Well, but, um, I have to say the Wellard is amazing, and they thought, you know what, we've got the license, we can get you can go and get a drink at the bar if you want. <laughs> yeah, I was thinking. Of, Welcome uh, to Wellard. <laughs> Katie Jane is one of the owners here, or her and her husband. Um, she's waiting for people. Then it only takes one person to finally get a drink. Oh, it's it. The rest will follow, but we haven't seen like, one go for the campaign yet. You're well, in there before, Rod. Did yeah, a lot one? of people think they're not allowed to buy it. I said, look at the look at Katie Jane over there. Go talk to her. Yes. She'll fix you up with a you know an espresso martini or a yeah. champagne. <laughs> well, I'm glad to say that, Roger, because they're bringing out a yard glass you right <laughs> now. <laughs> now, a little later this morning, you're gonna take us on the grand tour. Oh, the tour of Quinana. Yeah. Nothing better. Yeah, what are, so that's ten minutes, then what are we gonna do? <laughs> oh. Going, oh, oh please. <laughs> Come on, everyone, you've got to trash talk this sort of <laughs> yeah. Look, so we're going to have a great look around. We're going to obviously have a look at the industrial strip. Which is like the Champs-Élysées of, of the uh, area. Absolutely. <laughs> the power, part of the powerhouse of the national economy, which Western Australia is. We're going to have a look at a few of the facilities, the yes. playground, the nature playground, things like that. It'll be a great morning. Okay. All right. All right. And I hear we're going to um, uh, go and try our hand at golf. We are. The Quinana Golf the, the, Course is a bloody brilliant golf it's course. It's a beautiful golf course. One of the great kept, you know, secrets of the golfing world. So we're going whack a ball or something like that. Have a look around. It's in, nestled in the bushland, which is so much part of the Quinana community. They reckon it's very so, similar so, to uh, Barn Bugle in Tasmania. It's just one of those historic places to play at. Is, is, that, is, is, that, a, is that a golf joke? <laughs> The golfers know what you're talking about. Golf joke that none of us got. <laughs> hey, wait, then, sorry, do it again, Sean. Okay, <laughs> to myself. You're so funny. Sorry, right? I should have yeah. planned that yeah. one. I tell you what, though, you know how close we got with Mark McGowan. I have to say, probably from spending five minutes here, how mm. do you think about this compared to Rockingham now? Mm. Well, less. Uh, free parking on the seafront, which was the main attraction for Nathan. Yeah, there is for no, there is no um, for for um, shore here. No, well there is. There is. You can, drive, you can ride you can ride your on it and yeah. a few other fas- industrial facilities. But, but you can ride your horse on the beach. Absolutely, is, yeah. yeah. You can in ride Quinana, your horse on the Quinana, beach. Does everyone can. have horses? <laughs> <laughs> but that should be a thing. If you're the horse place, then you, everyone should get like at least like half price horses. Well, I think <laughs> the success, success today when we first went with um, Mark McGowan on a bit of a tour, mm. the bus got broken into. That's true. Adam Fowler found a bullet where we parked yes. our car once in Bunbury. So we'll yes. just, if we can get through this morning without any of those things, it's best oh, right be to shot, Sean. <laughs> <laughs> uh, as you know, Quinana, very safe, beautiful part of the world. Oh, it is. We, we look down on Rockingham, you know. Yes. Of course yes. you do. They, they think they're a little bit better than us, but yeah. they're not, really, no, when it comes down. No, we got down. the motorplex, mate. No. Yeah. no, it was great. It was great. Like, I parked here this morning, felt super safe. I only had to join one gang to get to the front door. <laughs> um, but they've got my back. Um, they're my blood brothers. Yeah, I see so, that you are wearing your neutral gang yeah. colours today, Premier, in the uh, Matilda scarf. Yeah, going yeah. the Matilda scarf. <laughs> Big game's coming up. So I'm getting really into this. There's, 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 I'm not a great football follower, but I've seen a couple of the games here in Perth. So much fun. Yes. So exciting. So good to see little oh, girls no, just getting Welcome to the bandwagon. <laughs> yeah. Oh, it's just fantastic. And, of course, we're so proud of what the Matildas did uh, in their game against Canada yeah. the other yes. night. And I think they're just going from strength to strength yep. from here. I think I think take the Danes down. Yeah. Going yeah. through the gears. All well, right. Well, we like the we like what's happening in Wellard yes. at the moment. The sun's yeah. up. I do have one issue though. One issue when we're driving here this morning, um, we got off Mortimer Road, and when they were driving down that road, getting towards this area, and there is this patch.
patch of road, which is from the movie Wolf Creek. It says it no has, light. It has no lights. It seems to turn in a one-lane dirt road, and you don't know whether this is it. So I thought that that's where my life was going to end. And then suddenly it was like, you know, um, civilization again. Even, even <laughs> so what's happening with the that? The sat-nav then? goes, lock yeah. your doors. Yeah. So what's, hap- weird. what's happening in that murder patch? What okay. are we doing there? <laughs> well, ultimately that'll be a, a, a dual carriageway. We'll, okay, get there one, we'll get there one day. Yeah. It's just, it, it's, yeah. it's coping at the yeah. moment. You, you want to get, get a hurry up on that because there was a guy sharpening a knife at the end yeah. <laughs> as I was driving past well, waiting. This is a growing community. Okay, this, is, this is almost peri-urban, but it's a great part of the world. We really love it down here. I love it. And it's a, yeah, I and, just want to survive. And it's a terrific community. <laughs> <laughs> New Road's coming All right. in first. The Premier is going to show us around a little bit later this morning. Um, you've got to go and do some premiering for a bit. I'm going to prepare for Quinanarama. Yes. Oh, Quinanarama, <laughs> mate. It's officially it's all happening. It's the new branding of your, of your place, by the way. Everybody. Yes, it's happening. You have no choice. This is the Nathan, Nat and Sean podcast. It's really interesting when we go and do shows out with mm. people, Natalie, mm. because we are so used to the drive to work for us. So yes. for the drive to work for me, I mean, really, I can get there in 12 minutes. Mm. Yep. Uh, this Mine's morning, about 17. This morning it was 38 minutes mm. to get here. Mm. And so we had to adjust your morning. Yes. You know, as anyone that has to drive a distance has to mm. do. Uh, and um, you have to make sure that you, you bring everything with you. Well, the one thing that I like about going to an OB is we have so many staff. An OB is an outside broadcast. Oh, yes. Mm. Um, that do all the heavy lifting. So mm. I only have to get my backpack. Like you got your backpack there, Nate. Mm. Uh, you bring your iPad. Yeah. But uh, I just chuck in my gym gear and a bottle of water and away we go. So yeah. I've got nothing to think about. No. Um, um, so Sam, who's our digital content producer, he does all the work. Or you see on our socials, all that sort of stuff. Very busy man, yep, very yep, important yep. man. He came down this morning. Yep. So Sam, hello. Where are you right now? Uh, I am. I've just pulled up. Um, I'm in. Where am I? In <laughs> in uh, near the airport, actually. So, you're near the so airport. You, you've been here at the Wallard this morning. Yeah, we saw you. Um, and then you had to leave. Sam, what is your job for this morning? Um, to take photos and film. What did you forget to bring? My camera. <laughs> <laughs> One job, Sam. <laughs> One job. <laughs> yeah. You, you were here. You were at, here. At what point did you realise you didn't have your camera? So you've driven all the way down to the Wellard. When did you realise um, you didn't have it? Well, as soon as I got out of the car, I went to go grab all my all my stuff. Um, um, and, yeah, a tripod, bag, and then I reached for my camera bag, and it just wasn't there. And so the back of my car um, is such a mess. I was like, surely it's just in the pile of mess, as I've dug through all everything. And, um, yeah, it's, it's not, not there. Can I just ask you guys yes. a question? You've gone to work. You've gotten there. Then you've realised you've left something at home. Then you go home. Can you, you leave your house again and no. go back to work? No. <laughs> okay, what about this story, it's Nate? It's warm, man. This might bring you back to Christmas when you forgot your shaver. But and I, you drove from Dunsborough. No, no, no. I forgot the uh, the power cord to my shaver. So I woke up that morning. Uh, it was, was it Christmas morning? Was it? It's just facts of somebody who I didn't think, want to spend Christmas yeah, yeah, with their family. Yeah, it was Christmas morning. <laughs> I woke up Christmas morning and I drove from Dunsborough back to Perth, ran upstairs, got my charger, came back stairs and drove back to Dunsborough. Because that's not, that's not critical. <laughs> I needed Do you know what I mean? Oh, it's not critical. Like it, you, you no, could it just let critical. it... It wasn't critical. Yeah, so you just wanted, needed a bit of away time? Well, you've met them. <laughs> <laughs> no, they're just lovely. So, lovely. Sam, what's your but ETA? But there was no room in the car. <laughs> when, do you, when do you think you'll get here, Sam? Probably another half an hour, but I think we're about to hit traffic. But, um, yeah, it's oh, you pretty are? Inter- Sam, you're not coming back, you're are you? Back. We're we're on the, you're you're sitting on your back. couch right now, aren't you? Uh, yeah. Well, it's, it's, um, <laughs> I was saying it's been pretty interesting to see all the, the roads that Ellie gives in her traffic reports every day. <laughs> <laughs> The yeah, Quinana, the Anchor Tap, the Berrigan, the... Yeah, yeah. And how much of a liar she is. And, and you're going to yeah. see them three times, which is a bit of fun, yeah. isn't it? All right, well, it's hurry like, back I think because... things are moving smoothly, but they're not. Yeah. yeah. Um, hurry back because in 8 o'clock we're going to look at an industrial area. Yeah. You want to get that on camera. Don't want to miss that. <laughs> this is the Nathan, Nat and Sean podcast. All right, well, here we are in the yes. lab, everybody. I know, I know, I know. And um, everyone in the lab is confused. <laughs> and, uh, we've actually just met Paul, been introduced to, I think, yes. uh, head scientist, Paul. Was that, head what would your job be? Uh, lab manager. Oh, yeah, lab manager. head scientist, that's it. He's yeah. the big guru. <laughs> Good yeah. news, you've been promoted. <laughs> are you taking us on the tour, Paul? 
Yeah, I'll show you through the lab if you like. Mm. What's the most before exciting thing that happens here? Lab coat. Lab you coat. Have to grab a lab coat. Yeah, grab a lab coat before you head okay. in. Okay. So mm. we've got lab coats made up for everyone. So okay. We'll look for your name tag. Oh, and we'll okay. Put lab coat on. Oh, mine's got my big Thank brother. You, mine's got my big brother picture on. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody's, somebody's been trolling our Instagram just quietly. <laughs> oh, Roger, yours is a nude. <laughs> okay. Okay, this is funny. All right, so we're getting our lab coats on. And these are these lab coats important because of an extra layer of protection or they're just for the look? Uh, no, it's part of our PPE. So PPE, yeah, yeah, yeah nice. Mm. All, right. All right, we've never looked better or smarter, just quietly. Mm. Now, what are, what are we going to be looking at, Paul? What are you going to show us? Uh, so I'm going to show you a titration where we're going to test for hydroxide in the product. Mm. I'm having flashbacks to high school chemistry and I'm not liking it. <laughs> it, yeah, wasn't, it wasn't a happy time for me, Paul. <laughs> there's a lot of high school chemistry going on here. <laughs> Any Bunsen burners, <laughs> Paul? Bunsen burners. No, actually. unfortunately no Bunsen burners mm, here. Mm, might yeah. be for Any the best. rats that we're putting lithium into and then they get superpowers? <laughs> Does that happen here? No, not here. <laughs> wow. <laughs> That's the next place, Sean. I, I just want to say we're um, completely honoured to be here. We're on the screens now. Mm. Welcome, Honourable Roger Cook, MLA, Premier of Western Australia, and Nathan Natt and Sean Nutter mm. FM. And we've got special name tags as, as well, Nathan. We do. Mine has the, my photo from Big Brother on it mm -hmm. when I was really ray, 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 rocking that mohawk. <laughs> <laughs> I think, I think it's a winner. You should probably go back to it, to be honest. Mine, mine is a throwback, too, because my nickname is Cracker Lock. Going back from when I was oh, what's a mine? Cairo. Mine's Evic D. Morris. I didn't even read that. <laughs> and what's your and name, Sean, Sean is washed I'm, up I'm, footballer I'm, McManus. I'm Mullet McManus. Mullet. <laughs> there you go. The undercut was in full swing. Happy days. I'm, I'm Professor Cook. I'm, I'm Professor, Professor Cook. Ah, uh, yes, uh, yes, you are. Uh, All right. <laughs> We're heading into the lab, everybody. It's Quinana Rama. Oh, the uh, Premier dragged us here because he said there's things that you really need to see. We're at Tianchi Lithium. Oh, we're in a lab. We're wearing white, white coats. I know. Look at us. It's so exciting. We're in We've front never of, looked like, smarter. There's like beakers. It sort of looks like, you know, where the Incredible Hulk became the Incredible mm. Hulk. Exactly like that. Uh, where a um, uh, lab accident could happen. But this mm. looks very safe. It, this is very upmarket. This is very cool. But it's so mm. cool. So we all know how we know how to, we know how to mine in Western Australia. Yeah, we're, we're, we're good at digging things up. Really good at I digging dug stuff. my way out of my mother. That's mm. right. So, <laughs> so what, we, what we're now looking to, to do is to add value to those, those minerals right. yeah. so that we're not just sending out uh, lithium ore, which is called spodumene. Yes. We're actually upgrading it to be a battery material ready for... So we're processing it right here in we're WA, right? Processing it here, doubling the value. So this really adds mm. to the economy. Mm. It's an important part. Well, we have Paul here. We spoke to you just a bit earlier. Paul, what are we going to be doing with this test? Okay, this test, we're going to test the purity of the LHM product. Mm. Yep. Um, and the Premier's going to do something, right? You're going to make him do the test? Well, he's going to do the test, yeah. Mm. Okay, so does he do it? Is this what he comes down and does every day, or normally do you do it? No, <laughs> I just lend them a hand whenever they do it, a bit yeah, short. Yeah. So helpful. Because yeah. on Thursdays, he does Casanova in France. <laughs> <laughs> so we're just confused. <laughs> All right, let's see some signs happen. Okay. All right. Take me, take me through it, Paul. Sorry about it. We've pre weighed out a sample here. So I'll give you that one. Excellent. We're going to add one shot of dilute hydrochloric acid here. Oh. 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 Up, and I know. Push it in. Oh. That's good. I know how to do a shot. Okay. That's good. <laughs> that was just like pouring a shot glass. There we go. There it goes. And one then shot we're of add HCL. One shot of IPA. Okay. <laughs> Is that an XPA? Like that's a no, 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 yeah, no, okay, no, no, IGA. <laughs> okay. I can't do a double shot. All right. So this is something he got from IGA. <laughs> and he's putting it in there. Okay, now okay. we're going to load it onto our auto sampler. Uh, oh, okay. I thought that, that that looks like an egg carton, guys. Like where mm. you put your eggs into. Mm -hmm. so it's like Waiting for the robotic egg. arm now. Yeah, so if we come oh. down here, we oh, okay. Sean wants to give that robotic arm some instructions. <laughs> so using the mouse, we just click onto this button here to start the test off. All right, Roger Cook is clicking with the mouse. Oh my God, it's happening. And save yes. Yeah. Oh wait, no, now yep, we're now on it's clicking Save. <laughs> All right, so the robot happening? will now pick up. Oh, there the goes the robot oh. now! Look at it go. The robot's roboting. Are you kidding me? This is this is everyone's worried about AI. Look at it; mm. it's friendly. Mm. It looks really helpful. There it goes. Okay, so here it is. It's Spinning going to get over. The thing that Roger grabbed. It's, it's like a skill tester. It's, it's, it's like a skill tester, but this one actually grabs it. It's grabbing the little beaker thing. Here we go. And no fluffy toy at the end. No. Of it, but no. Hey, Paul. Just a question. Would it be quicker for you just to grab it? <laughs> <laughs> if I had time to stand here all day. Okay, I mean, no, so you're usually you're doing something else. That's mm. like I was going to say. Mm. Off, then we yeah. can do it. Mm. <laughs> it's not the fastest robot. 
bold I've ever seen, I'll be honest. So, Paul, we're testing the quality for what reason? Uh, so we want to make sure that it's on specification. There's a whole range of international standards that we must meet before yeah. it meets battery grade. So we're looking for battery grade lithium. Yeah. Do we yeah. need to press continue there? Okay, good. And I, mean, I, don't, I don't want to tell you how to do your job or anything. <laughs> and, and we're, so we're looking for the best lithium we can, yes? Yeah, battery grade, Nathan. So do we, give, grade. do we give ours to Energizer, to Duracell? What do we give out, or is it something bigger? Uh, so li li lithium... It either goes into electric vehicles, batteries for electric vehicles, oh, yes. or into big batteries, energy storage systems. So they get, it's rechargeable batteries, isn't it? Absolutely. Yes, yeah, yeah, Absolutely. yeah. We've got, like, do we have heaps of lithium here? We are one of the biggest producers in the world. Really? We have some of the best resources from a lithium perspective yeah. right here in WA. Fant mm. uh, Ra uh, Raj, next question is, what's your share price? <laughs> uh, well, we are not listed, but our shareholders are. Yeah, all right. Just look for that one, everyone. All right, Paul, that comes what's happening track? next? What's okay. happening next? Okay, so the titration is now going to start. And um, basically, it's a acid-based titration. Mm. So if you remember back to your high school chemistry... Oh, no, no, no flashbacks. I'm not, I'm not enjoying it. Yeah. So where um, a lithium hydroxide is our base, we react it with hydrochloric acid, which is our acid. Yeah. Um, once all of the lithium hydroxide is reacted with the acid, that's when we find out um, what the purity is. Mm. Ah, AU is gold on the periodic table. Mm. That's right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I that's thought I'd tell you that's something. That's the extent of his <laughs> You tell me something, I'll tell you something. <laughs> 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 Wait, how long before we know whether it's good enough? How long uh, does it take? So this one's just completed now. Oh, how do we go? Oh, really? That quick? Yeah. That's quick, yep. And it's 56.66%, uh, which uh, we need a minimum of 55 Oh, so nailed it. it! So we found it! So we we, everyone, we found it! <laughs> Batteries for all! <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much, Paul. Well done, Roger. That's all right, what I do mean, we do now? We just like pour yeah. it into a car? Now we just collect the money. Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> That's right. We're going to pelletise or granulated, mm. ship it offshore, make mm. lots of money. Oh, all right. Okay, this is good. Make all it right. happen. All right. right. Thank you so much, Paul. Thanks for being great scientists, Roger. Thank you to, <laughs> to Raj and TNG Lithia for having us this morning. Nathan, Nat, and Sean is a Nova podcast. For more great comedy shows like this, head to novapodcasts.com.au. Nova.